Okay, today is February the 22nd, 2016, and we're watching the uh, Northeast Pacific Water Vapor Loop. And uh, today, once again, we see a right angle front that is formed right up here. This, um, this is that hurricane force storm, and we see that today a new square front has formed. If we go into the uh, infrared loop, we can see the same, same basic feature. That fits pretty well into that contour of this envelope. Okay, so let's run that loop. And uh, we can see that uh, there's very little rotation going on in, in inside this core. In fact, there's some clockwise rotation occurring right here in this core. And that would indicate descending air from a transmitter that is trying to uh, <clears throat> weaken this system weaken the core pressure of that system. Let's go back to the, uh, the water vapor map again. And there's just very, very little uh, rotation in this uh, center point here, this, this core. We, we actually have more rotation in this system here. This is also being attacked by a transmitter. We can see uh, dark areas all through here and a, a, a very a strange uh, geometric shapes here. This is not an all-natural. That should be a nice tight spiral like you would see in a seashell. Uh, so, you know, not right angles, not uh, strange uh, oblique uh, angles and, and, and half circles and, and, and all that. This is, none of this is natural. This is, this is all man-made stuff. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the uh, jet stream map here next. And we can see there's a uh, strong jet stream flow here, and then it splits, and then we have uh, a shot right through the uh, a northwest heading to the southeast. All right, now this is day, I believe it's day five now, of high pressure parked right off of California and the entire west coast to block uh, this storm. This is no longer a hurricane force storm, but it's still a 968 millibar or something like that. A very strong storm. This is generating about 40 foot uh, swells out in the uh, middle of the ocean here. But we can actually see uh, some clockwise rotation right in this area, right here. And that would indicate descending air from a uh, transmitter, a radar in this case. We're seeing a square feature, and that is probably because of a phase array radar that is being aimed right at the core of that system to uh, weaken the uh, core pressure to, by heating it. And uh, so that's creating this, uh, that's zeroing out the, the counterclockwise rotation. Descending air will, will uh, zero out any counterclockwise uh, rotation. And that's what they're doing, and that weakens the system. But these storms are getting so big that the, uh, the radars are not having a whole lot of effect. And, and so they have to uh, install that high pressure and use the chemtrail uh, mix, which we're going to take a look at here in a second. Uh, right now we see the, uh, this is the western U.S. Uh, infrared loop. We can see the a uh, lot of moisture uh, and very intense rain in that system. And that will be completely blocked from uh, delivering any significant rain to the uh, west coast. Okay, here is the uh, surface analysis map. And uh, this Hurricane Force storm, this was a 964 millibar yesterday, I think it was. It's 968 now, and there's actually two lows identified in this uh, core. One's a 972 millibar, and uh, these are both moving to the north, north, uh, west. All right, so we've got, uh, once again, we've got this high pressure all up and down the entire west coast. We have four highs identified right up here in uh, Canada. So the focus, since this uh, low pressure is moving to the north, these highs have all been shuffled up along the uh, Canadian coast. Yesterday they were all down here, if we recall. If you look at yesterday's video for the 21st, we can see that there was four or five highs all positioned down here, but now they've moved them up here. We've got one, two, three, four highs right, right along here. So that's the strategy, is to keep this uh, system out of, the, uh, out of the west coast. <clears throat> and this one here, this is another developing storm with a core pressure of 968 millibar. This is also a uh, Hurricane 4 system. 
And so uh, they will maintain very strong high pressure all through here, uh, probably for the next <clears throat> three or four or five days. And today in Los Angeles, we had very heavy chemtrail aerosol spraying all day long. Very strong uh, chemtrails, uh, heavy chemtrails spraying all day. And right now at nine o'clock in the evening in Los Angeles, we have 57 degrees for the temperature. We've got 30% relative humidity. The dew point is 26 degrees and the barometric pressure has dropped. Uh, well, actually it's steady today at 29.97. Uh, today, this morning at uh, around 9.30 a.m., uh, we had 14% relative humidity. That was this morning. And right now it's, like I say, about 30%. That's still very low as compared to what it was uh, on February the 21st. It was 41% in the uh, evening. So things are drying out. It's going to be hotter uh, tomorrow because of all this high pressure that is uh, going to be maintained to uh, keep both of these systems offshore. All right. Let's take a look here. This is the uh, wave analysis map. And you can see that uh, yesterday, these the, this map showed 30, actually 40 solid 40 foot swells in the core. So it's weakened just slightly, but all of that, all of that energy is going to move right into uh, California and Oregon and Washington here in the next day or two. All right. Okay. Here's the uh, surface level uh, pressure map, and we can see the high pressure all through here. That's just going to block. This system it has nowhere to go but to the north. Okay, here's the 500 millibar. We see that there's a high parked here, and that will uh, ensure that nothing gets into southern and central California. We've got some ridges there, <clears throat> these two lows, and the uh, 300 millibar is similar. This this system has nowhere to go but to the north. All right, now here's the uh, Geostationary satellite image, the water vapor loop, we can see a lot of aerosol chemtrails being sprayed. We can really see that right angle here in this view. Now, if you look over here, uh, get the camera fixed. Okay, there is just loads and loads of chemtrails right at, all through here. They're running them generally uh, this direction horizontally, and we see that some of them or uh, run in this direction as well, but uh, they are just spraying like crazy all out, all through here. Okay. All right, now let's uh, go back to the... Uh, there is a document that I want to show everyone. And I believe this can be found on Southern California Skywatch. SoCalSkyWatch.org, I believe is what it is. All right, now this is a document uh, that uh, was, uh, was written by uh, J. Marvin Herndon, H-E-R-N-D-O-N. And he's a PhD, educated man, and uh, he presented this research paper to the uh, International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health. And they discounted all the work that's, that is in this 17-page, uh, <clears throat> 16-page document. So uh, I want to uh, make sure that everybody sees this. So, I, you know, let's just take a quick look at this. This is about a man's personal uh, research efforts to get to the bottom of what is being sprayed in our skies, to have it tested, and to have it compared, comparatively tested against uh, actual samples of coal ash, fly ash in particular, which is what he uh, <clears throat> basically proves in this document as what they're using in these planes. They're spraying uh, a mixture of coal ash, and that is uh, what this paper is all about. And this can be uh, downloaded in the PDF format at SoCalSkyWatch.org, uh, I believe it is. I, I wanted to have the website prepared before I made this video, but I uh, blew it. But I do have the document pulled up. It's a 16-page document. If you just go to Bing and type in this man's name, which is uh, J. Marvin Herndon, 
and then after that put in uh, uh, I-J-E-R-P-H, that's an acronym for the International Journal of, of Environmental Research and Public Health. The acronym for that is I-J-E-R-P-H. And if you put that uh, term in after his name in the uh, Bing or Google search engine, and then after that put in PDF, that will, uh, right on the first page of results, you'll see a website, which is a SoCalSkyWatch.org. Uh, and uh, one of the two that are listed will take you right to his page. Uh, where they uh, have the uh, redacted or retracted version, uh, which is what I have here, uh, showing his his effort to uh, wake up the uh, this politicized organization, which uh, just summarily, summarily uh, discounted his 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 work, tossed it out, and uh, basically just called him a kook. So everyone should see this and read it because there's a lot of uh, work done and it should not be uh, just tossed in the trash because uh, people on television and, and people trolling this uh, 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 web channel, this YouTube channel, uh, thinks, think that it's uh, not worth looking at. Uh, there's plenty of, plenty of uh, charts, there's uh, plenty of uh, work done here, a lot of research work that should be looked at by everybody. If you're interested in these videos, you need to see this uh, document. Tomorrow's video, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have it together and we'll have their website up just in case anybody couldn't find this document. Okay, uh, let's go back to, the, uh, to this map and we'll uh, call it a day and we will uh, do another update tomorrow.